and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you so dearly for always supporting us. I really do appreciate if this is the first time you are coming across this wonderful family or you are seeing my face for the first time, I still remain Agatha Progress, bringing it to you back to back. Remember, we react to our videos and our opinion is highly needed. So just sit back and watch this video and I will be right back. All Nigerian students, you bobo. All Nigerian youth, you bobo. Again, waiting, I won't tell you now for Nigeria. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What I saw on social media every day, what is happening in that country, Nigeria. Let me tell you that your papa will be 70 years old, cannot save you. I want you to listen. I'm talking to the youth right now, Nigerian youth. Let me tell you something. That your uncle that is 65 years old cannot help you. You see, let me tell you something. Let's leave sentiment apart. Are you from Urobo? Are you from Edo? Edo, I'm talking to the youth. Are you from Benin City? Are you from Calabar? Are you from Izong? Where are you from? Are you an Igbo man? Are you from Podakot? Let me tell you, the moment the youths of this country, Nigeria, come together, we are going to save ourselves from these monsters that we called our leaders. Every day, people are being killed in Benin City. Every day, Fulani are killing in Enugu. <laughs> Una never suffer rich, yo. I'm telling you, I'm angry right now. As much as I saw those things on WhatsApp, that we cannot post it on Facebook or YouTube. I know all of you are seeing it. You saw them. People are dying every day. The police are killing too. The DSS are killing too. When they see Biafrans, they are killing. But meanwhile, over 4,000 Fulani Boko Haram were released into the society last three weeks. But when they see an Igbo man that claimed to be an agitator, that claimed to be a Biafra, and that claimed to be an IPOP, they shoot and killed. We all live in smiling and suffering in that dungeon called Nigeria. Why your mates abroad? are graduating when they are 23 years old. Your mates abroad are building, are buying houses when they are 25 years old. They are riding new cars at 25 years old. But you are still at the university at 30 years old. But you are telling me one Nigeria. They are going to come and meet you there in that university and tell you, hey, vote for me. PDP, vote for me, APC. We are going to lead you to the destination next 2023. You are all living in a pipe dream. I can bet with my life nobody will ever save that Nigeria. Everybody is corrupt. From top to the floor, from university to the secondary school. From secondary school to primary school. Every ministry, everybody is corrupt. The police the army, the DSS, every ministry in Nigeria is fucking corrupt. I'm not here to smile. I'm not supposed to be fighting for you. Mazin Namdekanu is not supposed to be fighting for you. Simon Ekpa is not supposed to be fighting for you. The DSS or DOS of IPOP are not supposed to be fighting for you. The IPOP that are abroad are not supposed Do you know why? Because they have tested life. All these people are abroad, where will they fight each other? Simon Ekpa is fighting DSS, DOSS is fighting Simon Ekpa. All of us, we are not supposed to be fighting for you. Many of those people. Sleka. Many of those people, they don't get papers abroad, they don't marry, they get children abroad, they, house, they get house abroad. Make I tell you that. From Potakot to Calabar, from Calabar to Enugu, from Anugu to Ebony, uh, rivers, all of Una, from Edo State to Bini, from Bini. 
Me could not live outside alone. Any day where all of them come together, you are going to conquer these people and they go, carry Ghana must go. All of them, as all these governors and the elite, their children are schooling abroad. All of them are the day, Mumu. Even for Israel here, their children day for Israel here. They, they school for Israel here. Do you know how much it costs to be a student in Israel? You are all living in a pipe dream. Hmm? You are all living in a pipe dream. I don't tell you now, say, these people, where, we, where they fight, they kill each other. For, where, would they, where would they fight each other? They gossip about it. Where they fight each other because of you. Many people abroad, they suppose just they sleep, eat and drink and forget about Nigeria. But they are fighting for you guys. You see, it is high time all of you rise up. I'm telling you, stop the sentiment. Whether you be Igbo, you be Aousa, wherever you come from, all of you, now, the day that you come together, the elite will run away. <laughs> Trust me. The person where they break coconut for his head, in order they stay chop that coconut. The day the youth of Nigeria, all of you, you put hand together and bring that coconut and break it in on top of the head of that elite, they go follow backyard, enter their private jet. They go follow backyard, carry their, jet, uh, their, their Ghana must go. In peace I come and in peace I go. Greatest Nigerian student, greatest Bagba. Greatest Bobo. Good morning, gentlemen. You get waiting, they shook me for leave Akume this morning. And I'm not smiling this morning because Chinedu Wadike is dead. Who is Chinedu Wadike? Chinedu Wadike is a musician who has a, a kidney problem some weeks back. And later, after some few weeks, I was told, or we were told, that the cancer has been overwhelmed. Um, the cancer has been treated, it's kind of. But this morning, when I opened up my cell phone on social media, I saw messages that Chine Dumadike is dead of leukemia. What is leukemia? It's a cancer of the blood. And I still begin to think like, oh my God, he died of leukemia? You see, I'm sorry, you may not like what I'm going to say. I'm going to emphasize on Obi Kubana. I'm sorry, I'm going to mention Obi, Obi Kubana. Do you know why I'm mentioning Obi Kubana? Because Obi Kubana is my brother. He's an Igbo man. And he's young. He is not the only Binonia. Not the only billionaire in the world. I mean, in Nigeria. Don't let me, he's not even near any other people in the world. We are talking about within the society in Nigeria. He's one of those who is parade himself with private jets. And why am I mentioning Obi Gubana? I repeat, Obi Gubana is my brother. He's an Igbo man. That's why I'm emphasizing on him. I don't want to mention other people. We have other billionaires in Nigeria who cannot even think about what I'm going to talk about. Obi Gubana, you know what? Because of that, you are Odogu bitter. I know happy. We are talking about cancer here. We are talking about um, heart problem here. We are talking about kidney problem here. The only thing you could give to the society is your Odogu bitter. Brother, listen. There's no hospitals. If you can open a hospital with insurance, let me explain to you. I don't know if you have been abroad before. Or even if you have not been abroad, so you may have had, yes, you have been abroad, but you may not live abroad. Going to abroad is different from when you live abroad for five, six years. You know how they run things. We need hospital, Obi. I'm not going to tell you how to spend money. I talked before. I the beg you now. You can become billionaire, the world billionaire, by investing in hospitals. I swear to God, nobody will see your back. Obi Kubana. No billionaire, even Dangote will not go see your bag if you invest on medical. Trust me. This jet will not the right. Come to ride the jet alone, go America, come back. That money don't reach to build one small hospital for our village. So that our mothers go to get medical care. Let me explain to you what I'm not giving you, I'm just giving an idea. Build one hospital in Lagos for Obi Kuban. Build one hospital in Abuja for Opi Gubana. Build one hospital or two in the east, at least two or three in the east for Opi Gubana. 
you don't need to build giant, you don't need to build big and you don't need a big land. Just build a hospital where we say you go need like 20 something room is enough. All you need is those medical equipment abroad where people can always go there to check their problems. Obi Gubana, come make the price go down. There are a lot of doctors who want to work as a charity. Hmm? You don't need to spend money on doctors. Those doctors go be doctors where go they work for you for hospital. Also work for you as a private hospital. Buy all the equipment you think people will go to Indians for the medical tourism. Bring it back home. Buy, buy all the equipment you think people will go to London for medical tourism. Bring it back home. Now employ all these graduate doctors to work under the private doctors. They, they, they learn more and improve. Take them abroad for six months training to learn more. One year, two years, how to plant um, a kidney, how to operate on kidney problems on different fields, on different fields. Now, I'm just giving you an idea. Because this year, Odogu beat the vet me. Now, what do you know what is insurance? I know Nigeria does not work well. You can work also insurance. Instead of you, so they give people alo more bitter. Go to the marketplace. You go get employ people to the marketplace to tell people, say, Mama, Mama, where they sell tomato, Mama, you get hospital where I build. Though. You see the hospital there? Eh? You go to do medical checkup there every time where you come. Now free of charge. But you go to pay insurance money. That woman or that man where they sell mango for market or where be mechanic, talk to them. I swear to God, all these people where be businessmen, every day money they enter their hands. They know, say, that hospital where they go all the time, go spend 100000 for sickness, where they, where, I, I'm just using 100,000 for example. Some people, 10,000 alone, they don't have. Tell them every month, you're going to bring so, so so amount of money, come pay for your insurance. You see, this insurance will cover you and your children. Anytime we will not get headache, we will not come. Anytime we will not get stomach pain, we will not come, we will not go pay anything. But that money, we will not pay as an insurance. Now, your medical insurance will go take care of you, everything in your life. Listen, to take care of people, not too hard like that in the hospital. The insurance, those people will get insurance with you. Those will be said that they come also and patronize you all over Africa. They will come, they will hear about Obi Kubana Hospital. This is your Odogu Bita. Let me tell you something, Obi. This is what happened to Obi Kubana. Obi Kubana don't have any business on surface that the poor man can see. He's been questioned at the um, uh, DSS or whatever they call him, uh, uh, EFCC, they call him. Or you could think of, okay, let me do a business on surface where people will be seen and say, oh, this is my business. Obi, this will not be, um, oh. you see this thing where they give for streets. Okay, look person where you take do ambassador self. That is to show that what you are selling is for the street people, people who that are frustrated, people that don't have a future anymore. The housing estate where you they build, you they come advertising for streets. Of course, you will never come to the street because these people are poor people. They can't afford to buy your estate. They can't afford to come to your clubs they say you build clubs good for you bro but what am i trying to say here why don't you advertise that aloma bitter for your club people those pilonias where they go drink hennessy they don't go drink that thing where you bring bro that thing that like chemical where they kill people these frustrated people on the street they will keep drinking on this thing until they get cancer where there's no medical equipped medical hospital where in fact they get money where they get the money to check to to, 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 to do implant listen prevention is better than cure you see, if anybody get kidney problem, you know they take again for life. Oh. Do you know why? Even if they change the kidney, every month you go to spend almost hundred thousand to take care of yourself. That is why we should start taking care of yourself now. Go to medical. You where they hear me now? They go hospital. If you get fifty, go check your kidney. Go check everything once a while. If now earlier detective, you go day okay. Say they detect on time. Then where the thing? Because this is our body system. The thing go day there. You no go know until one or two years. As I talk to you, I talk to myself. Oh. Make me leave Obi Kubana on one side. I love Obita. My brother, no, 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 no. You will be the richest man in the world. You will, will be one of the richest man in the world. You go see investors. Obi Kubana, you go see investors, people who want to come and invest with you. Make you they gather. Even if now, 33,000 3, people, they pay you every month as insurance. You know how much when you go gather? In a whole one month, people go. They gather that money. Some some people go. They pay you for three years. They know they, they are not sick. They will never come. 
for once. Some people will never patronize your insurance company for once till they die because not be everybody is sick. Obi, I'm not trying to be bad. Please, don't, those of you are they young, we will not get money. This is the only way to save the masses. Save the masses. Chinedu is dead of leukemia. If in a country where we say we are equipped, this guy will not die of leukemia. Do you know that WWE wrestling, this man, what is it, Roman Reign, do you know that he have leukemia? And as somebody where they fight wrestling, leukemia is a cancer of the blood. And it's managed. You can manage it and live it long. That guy don't die now. Are we happy now? Are we happy that Chi Ne Du Wadike is dead now? That's my question. Chi Ne Du Wadike is dead. Are we happy now? Can you ask yourself one question? Why is Dangote not even building hospital? Because those elites, where they follow get company, they know what make you build a hospital. They always want to have, find an excuse to go to London. They always find an excuse to go and hide money in London. They will tell you they are going for medical checkup. They are going for medical tourism. If Dangote, don't tell me that Dangote never thought of building hospital. Dangote will have thought of building hospital. Equipped hospital. I say no. If you build them, we don't go feed the steel money, go London again. We don't go feed the steel money, go Europe again. So Dangote must not build hospital. Go and build refinery where we can be exploiting money. You see, let me tell you, everything that Dangote is doing, all these people where they on power, everybody have shares in it. Not be Dan Kote, be that millionaire way on the top. He's just in charge. All the elites where they enter government, everybody they buy Dan Kote share. Everybody they with Dan Kote. That is why they are playing monopoly business. What is monopoly? Monopoly is a system where you give somebody, one person a license to import things. The other people will not import things. There's no competition. No competition at all. There's no competition. Just one man, monopoly. And it's any amount where you want to sell in this thing, I show you go sell up. That is because your government are involved in Dangote. They are the business owners. All of them. Good morning. I love you all. My word. That brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do wait to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.